In metastatic, hormone receptor positive HER2 negative breast cancer, we have three CDK4-6 inhibitors that are approved. Uh, we have palbocyclib and ribocyclib, and we have abemocyclib. All of these studies, uh, all the studies that led to the approval of these agents showed a similar median progression free survival hazard ratio, you know, one of about 0.5 to 0.56. There are some differences in terms of some of the randomized studies showing an overall survival benefit uh, compared to not all of the trials uh, demonstrated that sort of benefit. Um, and one of the ongoing questions is if you have a patient who's had a tumor that has progressed on a CDK4-6 inhibitor, for instance, in the frontline setting, should you change the CDK4-6 inhibitor uh, in when patients are being treated at the time of progression? And we've seen some data uh, that have been published, for instance, from the MAINTAIN trial, which demonstrated there was a benefit from switching for this most part palbocyclib to ribocyclib. But we're waiting other randomized results, such as from the post-monarch study, which is a completed trial, which is randomizing patients at the time of CDK4-6 inhibitor progression to full vestment with or without abemocyclib. And that's an eagerly awaited trial that we'll hopefully hear in the not so distant future.